Alrighty, let's see if this works. Yeah, I can't use the um, the light. Mind you, I don't have the overhead light on right now, so I shouldn't be getting a lot of shadows. I'm just using I'm just um, using the sunlight, so that should be not too bad. Let's hope, anyways. And I'm also going to try to not even move the camera. I think this should get enough. I'm rather surprised uh, when I was looking at the last video, even though I wasn't very happy with how I went about it. Um, like it was tippy. I just, yeah, I just wasn't prepared and I'm not saying I am now. Um, but I was uh, pleasantly surprised at the 0 0.5 uh, magnification for this. And that's what I'm going with. I'm able to get the whole map and holy smokes, I can't believe it. I'm able uh, to get the CRT and everything. And I can just pop the dice tower. So we'll go with this. And um, yeah, I think the definition, I mean, hopefully you'll b still be able to see... Um, you know, some of the, like the strength points and the movement points. So it's the German turn. Um, and I, just to go over quickly about some of the things. So any Russian troops that are on the border, on a border hex or in German territory are, are flipped over to their, their uninverted side, as they would call it in the, in the, the, the Tannenberg game here, the Spence and Gable game. Um, and then when they go back, they have the option of, um, uh, flipping, uh, uh, going to, uh, to their inverted side, and the German, uh, the German units uh, can stay um, inverted as long as they're not adjacent to a Russian uh, unit, no matter where they are on the map. Uh, also, the German units are not allowed to go past Russian border, uh, the border hexes. They're allowed to go on a border hex. But they're not allowed to go past a border hex for the first 10 turns. And the Russians um, can only be considered in full supply uh, up to six hexes away from an active rail line. Uh, that Well, and uh, that's also can, um, you know, link up to either the, um, the east or the south map edge. And the cavalry, though, are allowed to go eight from Ostrolenka, I do believe. Uh, to, to start for the initial setup, but that uh, they're also restricted to the six. And also, just a reminder again of every time uh, Russian cavalry um, land on a rail hex, they have to stop for that turn. It's that uh, little beautiful thing that uh, Spencer Gable popped in for the rules about uh, the Landstrom causing uh, the Russian cavalry grief. Also, these thin lines allows the Germans um, to do one. Uh, division worth in one direction and the uh, the double rail lines these thick lines are allow, allowed to go uh, one division in either direction um, uh, so you'd have two divisions one in either direction or two divisions in uh, one direction only and uh, it allows them to go up to 20 hexes which is pretty substantial I also think and you have to stop when you uh, enter an enemy zone of control and you're not allowed to move from one enemy zone of control to another enemy zone of control. Uh, what else? I also have to just quick, quickly check up the uh, the rail movement because I want to make sure that uh, units moving by rail may not pass through or end their move in an enemy zone of control. That's what I wanted to know. They may n move no further that turn. Units may not engage in combat in the same turn they move by rail. Okay, that's good to know. And the reason why I wanted to re oh, thank God I reread these rules, uh, because what I wanted to do right off the bat, I was like, okay, here we go. I was going to send the, uh, well, I can do it this way, because that's one, two, three, and I can land on a border hex and harass the uh, the sixth, the Russian sixth cavalry division here. But what I was going to do was rail the first uh, infantry division over here, uh, drop them off into Lick and attack uh, the independent cavalry here. Obviously, probably force a retreat, but at least um, I was going to start causing some grief. I was also going to send way the heck over here, uh, the 69th um, Ursatz Brigade uh, down here against the, the 4th Cavalry Division in Soldau uh, to do the same thing, and now I can't. Um, it's like, well, I can... One, two, three. I can still do it, do it that way, but at least, um, at least now I know the restrictions, and I like it. Good. It's... Uh, you know, hampering the um, the journey a bit. On a side note, I know I'm doing playthrough stuff uh, for um, Tannenberg, but uh, I've also been reading, I've just started reading up on um, 
just rail uh, uh, in World War One and everything. And it's uh, yeah, it's, well, it's because it just keeps come, popping up over and over and over again. Uh, in uh, and just the fact that rail was so instrumental in moving uh, men and supplies in World War One, it's just uh, unbelievable. Yet again, though, as they were approaching the front line, they had to, you know, oh, you get it, and then had to convert over to a horse and whatnot. So, anyways, we'll get back to this. So, here we go. Um, I can't do what I wanted to do, but uh, for the Germans, I'm not too worried. Like I said, yet again, I've got this massive amount of uh, really uh, difficult terrain for them. Other than their cavalry, they are very slow moving. They only have a movement rate of two. And yet again, for this first six turns, they, you know, um, they can only go six hexes out until they become unsupplied. What I'm right looking right now for, well, obviously I want to slow them down, but uh, I'm also looking for uh, opportunistic spots. I don't get any reinforcements until, so we're on the 17th of August. I don't get any until the 18th, 19th, the 20th, and it uh, doesn't look like much. It's just a brigade. Um, and where are they popping up in, uh, uh, the Goldack Brigade in Konigsberg. Okay. So way over here, but at least I can rail them. That's a, a nice big solid double line there. Um, okay. Fallback spots are already attacking me here, but I think I'm going to start trying to cause some grief, at least force them back here. Um, I'm not too, too worried here. Um, quite surprised that, uh, first I was a little worried. I was like, oh my gosh, look at all these units here, but I'm like, no, Chris, it's okay. They're they're going to be slow moving. You've jammed them up there. So we'll just slowly bring some boys over here. And uh, yeah, things are okay. Things are okay. Just relax. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to send this guy over here. Uh, it'll be a one-to-one -one odds. Um, but I can force a retreat if uh, the cavalry... I think it's the cavalry... Hold on here. Uh, yep, retreat. Um, also, when every, caval when every cavalry unit is faced with an attack by infantry units alone, it may elect to retreat before combat. This is done before any odds are totaled or die is rolled. The only player simply retreats the cavalry unit two hexes under the restrictions given in combat. And the attacking unit may advance after, after that. So, I, I, you know, that'd be lovely. So I'm going to do this. I'm, just for now, I'm going to put the counter sideways so I remember... Who the heck I moved, especially that I'm talking with you guys. It's uh, I'm gonna be like, what? So, okay, so we're gonna send you guys out here one, two, three. All right, so the 69th Ursatz Brigade, you're gonna go do your job. What are you gonna do here? I think you're going to um, I want to keep you in the fortress there, yeah, why not? We'll leave you there. I don't know what's going to... We can still rail you over to somewhere. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. All right. So what am I going to do with these guys? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to start pushing them out towards here, at least towards the border, um, and uh, start jeopardizing some of their... Uh, there's things. Oh, shoot. I'm not allowed to go for the first 10 turns, so what's the point? Um, but I'm just wasting a lot of strength points there if they're just going to be going towards there. So let's start railing some boys over here. I guess that's the way to do it. Not a lot of them, but I will do some. These guys are a waste. I'm not obviously, I mean, they're so close. I might as well just keep them here. But one, two, three. Okay. Uh, I've got to remember, I've done this before. See what's happening already. I get suckered in by um, attacking cavalry. They're going to retreat the next turn, and it's too late. I removed it, and the Russians pounce. I've done this before. I keep forgetting. Uh, F. Yep, I've done it again. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh huh. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to rail. Okay, one, two, three. No, we'll leave him here there. I'll put him here. Uh, where are you going to go? I'm going to put you. Oh, you're not on rail. What was I thinking, man? Come on, Chris. Jeepers jumping. Uh, well, I'm going to. Two, 
three just for now because I, I'm I'm hoping to maybe free free uh freeze up some spots. We'll see what that like for enemy zones to control to slow them down. I gotta start thinking that way as well. Am I wasting my time here? Um hmm. I am I remember they gotta they're gonna start getting reinforcements and I don't know where they're coming from and or like where they're going to send them off to because now it's all bets are off for the Russians. They don't have to uh keep first second army people together. It's just the initial setup. Mm. Well, I am a little worried they're going to start. Uh, uh, it's also here too. You know what? Here's the supply line. Here's the supply line. Let's start nailing some. Let's start protecting my flanks. Okay. And that's on the border hex, so I can attack. And if it is, perhaps I think this is also a reinforcement spot. So if I put them there, they're allowed to appear on a reinforcement spot. Uh, into an enemy zone of control. They're just not allowed to appear on a reinforcement spot if I've got somebody in there. But I'd love to have somebody in there right away. So one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Uh huh. And I don't want to split up too many people all the time because um, then you start, you know, it's odd, odds based thing. So I'm going to start getting myself into a lot of grief. Uh, hmm. I'm going to rail, just for the heck of railing, this guy over to here, single track all the way to here. Am I allowed to get off the rail? Continue doing something? Let's hold on. Let's find out. Only German units may use rail movement. Rail movement takes place during the movement phase. To be eligible to move my rail, a unit must begin the phase on a rail line outside of an enemy zone of control and in supply. During the movement phase, such units may be moved up 20 hexes along any German units. Units moving my rail may not pass through ramp. They may not may move no further that turn. Okay. It's good to know. So I'm not able to get off the train and continue my movement. All right. So what did I do with him? Was he from here? I think so. Uh, what did I want to go do with him? Uh, I shoot. Was he there? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Let's uh Oh well, let's um I'm going to put him here and let's hope I'm uh, that's the Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> I don't know and I can't go rewind. It's not like in uh anyways, we're going to have to uh, yeah, I mean I don't know. I I I didn't see shit, but it was sideways. So like why did I put it sideways? Um is this a bad thing? Like should I have you know what? I'm not. I'm a bit freaked out, so we'll just leave him there. And maybe you guys will be like, "Chris, you could have moved him." I don't know. I'll uh, I'll just leave it there and hope for the best. So what I'm going to do instead is do some kind of funky thing and move where I would like to have got got somebody anyways to there. Does that make sense? So that way, where there we go, done. Okay, life's wonderful. Uh, so I could, I'm going to force an attack there. Anybody else want to hang out? Uh, no, we're going to stay. I'm going to stay put. Thank you. But we're going to for, we're going to do, I have to go way over here. Sorry. I'm going to fiddle. Oh, shoot. Or maybe I can duck under the gantry. Hold on. You're going to see my head and all kinds of crazy nonsense. Um, one, two, two. Um, one, two, one, two. All right, there we go. And I, th yeah, let's do some. Uh, we'll do this first combat. So I'll rotate everybody back because oh, we'll do this one combat here. Um, and yes, um, I'm going to say that the Russians. Uh, decide opt to retreat and they go two uh two hexes back one two and now that they're on uh the other side of the it doesn't matter but let's you know let's be realistic and i'm going to say that the 69th ersatz uh brigade uh, advances into Seoul now okay so there we go uh done 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 you're done done Okie doke. Hopefully this is going well. Uh, and then these guys are also uh, going to um, 
back out. What the heck? You think they're crazy? One, two. So they go like this. I'm allowed to advance into here because you see that it's ring just in there. So I am at the border, I would say, which now forces this guy to be revealed because he's now um, adjacent to a German unit. Okay, so we're good here. And like I said, it, it is just makes it in here. So I'm like, well, it's on that side of the hex, man. And that's a border hex. So there we go. Done. Uh, yet again, uh, well, who hold on here. Combat, uh, he, uh, this guy can't retreat because uh, it's not an infantry only. So it's one-to-one -one odds. Here we go. Um, I can take a look at the um, terrain effects. So the, that cavalry is in um, woods. What do they call it? Forest in this one. So I don't know if you guys can see it here. I'll bring it over. So what it says is forest is minus one from retreats and a one to one odds. So there we're looking at there. Okay. So not very, not great, but uh, there we go. So uh, low is good. Uh, it's interesting. I think I've mentioned this before. I've noticed that often uh, with World War I games uh, that I've been playing anyways, that rolling low seems to be the way to go. Um, how's that? Uh, we'll see if that works. Okay, so let's see what happens. Do the the that yeah, this is the only cavalry uh, division that uh, the Germans have at this point. That's the first cavalry division up against the fourth. Is that what it is? Hold on. Yeah, or second or something. Well, find out in a minute. A six, I think. I think that's a can games. I think the can games one is a six. No, it's a one. Holy smokes. So, wow, no wonder I like using the Can Games dice because uh, for World War I, I mean, it, you know, it's the special number. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh, one to one. Um, one to one odds, DR2. And since uh, uh, DR is his all defending units, um, retreat the indicated number of hexes. And since we said they're in the woods, um, uh, they ha they can uh, re just retreat one, so they retreat uh, back across the border, um, across, that would be the knee, not the Neiman River. Oh, shoot, it could be the Neiman, yes, it is the Neiman River. Um, I'm trying to, oh my god, okay, it's written there. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just trying to remember from Dervelt Creek and everything. And these guys can advance after combat, which is what they do. Okay, these guys can retreat, and they do. Back across the border, and the 70th Landwehr Brigade um, advances into the woods. I mean, I just don't see what was the... Or maybe I should have stayed at 1 to 1 odds. You know what? We're going to stay at 1 to 1 odds. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what happens, because I don't think there's any crazy special bonus with cavalry. I think it's just straight up. Let's see here. Although they prove somewhat... You know, yep. Uh, to reflect this cavalry units, attack hexes containing infantry units... To reflect this, whenever cavalry units attack a hex containing infantry units, their combat strengths are halved. But it's not for defending. Okay, that's interesting. So we're going up against with the one-to-one -one again, and it's a woods. So uh, here we go. Let's see what happens. Well, we got the can games uh, facing. Oh my gosh, we do. This is awesome. Man, Ken Games has been on my on the brain lately, so uh, there we go. And they retreat. Is it two hexes, though? Let's uh, find out. I've got to remember that. But at least I'd advance these guys one, so we'll know. But I have to make sure that... Uh, advance. Uh, retreat. Uh, combat. Retreat. Uh, retreated units must end the retreats the indicated number of hexes away from the hex they vacated. Retreated units must attempt to end the retreats in the hex in the, yeah, in the hex near. Don't do some kind of backtracking. Um, I don't see it's, no, it just says the number of, you have to do the number of things. Okay. So they retreat back one and, um, the 70th Landwehr Brigade advances in. Okay, we're good there. 
So uh, what are we going to do here for some attacks? Um, I'm trying to think here. So that's 20. I'm not good for with numbers here, man. So that's uh, 36. So that's 3 to 1 odds. I can do 3 to 1 here. And then 16. 22. Shoots. And ladders, eh? <sighs> or do I go 4 to 1 odds? My, because... Um, or do I do a one to two odds there? No, I, let's not be stupid, Chris. Let's just use them as a as a blank. So I'll I'll do the um, these two here, the thirty six. Um, or I could do one to one here. Hold your horses here, Chris. So you've got one to one odds here. Three to one odds here, and one to two odds there. So how about one to one, three to one? Hmm, I'm a little worried though. Okay, so what 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 would I prefer? So I advance after combat with the three to one, and I get to here. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with. Uh, so I'm gonna do. Um, we're gonna try the one to one here. The um. The, uh, there's no uh, combat uh, bonus for being in a town. It's just, it, there's none. It just, as you can, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just straight up none. So that's the first combat I'm going to try up, up north here along the, that would be not the Neiman. So that's the, come on, Chris, uh, it starts with the, uh, starts with the P, I do believe. Oh, my mind, man, my mind, uh, Prego River, Prego River, Prego River. Um, sorry. Um, oh, wow, God, I'm just getting my tracked again. So, one to one. So, that's the third reserve versus the 27th. Boy, are they going to be lucky with uh, another can games uh, die? Nope. A three. Well, let's see what happens with a three on a one to one. I have no idea. Three on one. So, DR1. Wow, impressive, man. So, uh, the defender has to retreat. And. This is lovely. This is just exactly what I would like. Oops. So this third reserve advances right onto the border. Oh, this is lovely. I'll have to check later too. I don't think there's uh, flank attacks or any um, bonuses. I have to check just to make sure. Um, no, I think it's just uh, you just add them up. I don't see any uh, flank attack or Anything like that? Nope. Okay. Nope. I don't see anything. Okay, so you're done. And now we're doing the 20, 36, 12, 24. That's three to one odds. So that's the first reserve and the 36th reserve going up against the 25th. All right. A four on a three to one. So what happens on a four and a three to one? DR3, holy smokes. And are they are they out in the open? I think so. Yep. That's one, two, three. And then they can advance. And I, I don't think it said uh, you can advance the same number of hexes. I don't think it said that. Let's just check. Whenever a combat result calls for defending units to vacate a hex... The, hack, the attacking units up to stacking limits may occupy the hex. Okay, excellent. This must be done before any other uh, combat results uh, take place. Okay, excellent. Boy, that was lovely. Um, and then uh, that's it, I do believe. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to do a one to, one to two. Okay, um, so there we, there we have it. Oh my gosh, 24 minutes. Boy, this is going to be like epically long, but, uh, like I said, I'm not going to be doing all every single turn, uh, to this crazy detail, but, uh, at least maybe up until we get to, uh, our, uh, uh, the first big reserve, uh, reinforcements, maybe I'll do it. I'll do the, the next big whatever, which would be, um, one, two, three. So hold on. I've got to flip it on over. Two. So now we're up to the 18th of August. So that's interesting. It, it, historically, this is kind of what happened. There was some, you know, some action up, up towards there and uh, neat. Okay. Hope you're having a great time. See you later.